ADSR, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. What is it? Unlike samples, when you connect an oscillator to an output, it just plays, whether you like it or not, constantly on, forever. So we need to first connect it to an amplifier, in this case a voltage controlled one, or a VCA. The VCA is now opening and closing, or gating as we call it, via a bit of voltage being fed by this triggering device, on, off. But this still feels binary, on, off, on, off. If we want a more elegant shape to the sound, we need to put this trigger voltage through an envelope generator, or ADSR. Three of the four ADSR controls determine speed. So with the first attack, we're controlling the time it takes for the voltage to get to full power, which affects the amp or amplitude or volume of the oscillator. The decay and sustain work together. The first, decay, determines how long after the attack stage the voltage takes to get to the second amount of voltage set by sustain. So sustain sets an amount, not speed. For as long as the gate is open, it will stay at this point until the gate is released, at which point release controls the speed in which the voltage returns to zero, which in this case affects the amp or the volume. Now with samples, the shape of the sound is largely affected by what you have recorded, but by triggering them, all we're doing is switching the recordings on and off. In order to finesse the sound and feel of your samples, you need to introduce an amp and an envelope, or ADSR, to shape it. Now I'm going to build this in two different sample players. Contact and skip along to this time code to see it done in Logic's multi-sampler. In Contact, scroll down to the modulation section of the editor. Whenever you build a contact instrument, it's already set up for you, so you won't have to do anything. Here you will see not only attack, decay, sustain and release, but some other controls. Let me take you through them. Attack, as expected, affects the speed in which we get to full volume. You can also finesse this further with this curve controller, which will give you a positive or negative curve into the first stage of the envelope. Decay controls the speed in which we drop to the second level of amplitude, or volume, set by sustain. However, there is an additional hold controller that sets how long the envelope sits at full volume before passing to the decay stage. And finally, release. With a piano sample, we don't want it to just stop dead, so a nice gentle release is what's called for. Now envelopes, or ADSRs, can affect other functions like filters, but that's for another day. So for now, you're done. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below. In Logic Sampler, go to the Modulators section and you'll see Env1, or Envelope 1, is already assigned to Amp. This is the default position for the Logic Sampler, so you won't have to set anything up. You'll see that the first node controls Attack, the second Decay, which determines the speed it takes to get to the next Amp level set by Sustain. and finally, release. With a piano sample, we don't want it to just stop dead, so a nice gentle release is what's called for. Now envelopes, or ADSRs, can affect other functions like filters, but that's for another day. So for now, you're done. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below.